Before fast fashion, making and repairing clothing was as much a part of life as cooking, cleaning, and feeding the pets. Then, clothing was not so easy to come by as it is today. Each garment was treasured. Repairing clothing, rather than buying something new, was the go-to solution for years. Lost buttons were replaced with spares, holes in the knee of jeans were patched. All of these chores were part of the daily to-dos of girls and women in the olden days. In other words, fast fashion didn't exist yet. All clothing was either handmade by someone in the family or bought, then repaired, and passed down for years, even decades. Fast forward to now, when so many of us are waking up to the destructive realities of the fast fashion paradigm. Clothing designed to last a season or two, made of polyester, line the aisles of most clothing establishments these days. The prices of such items are low and accessible for most people, but the clothing quickly needs replacement. The cost of constantly buying new items to replace the worn out ones adds up. And the cost in the environment of ever-rising piles of garbage throughout the world is weighing on our collective consciousness. Luckily, there is one really simple way to slow down fast fashion. By learning to mend clothing, we are giving each item a longer life instead of feeding the endless cycle of consumerism. You could donate your clothing to a charity, but there's no way to know for sure that each and every item will be used. Clothes that are torn or otherwise damaged are likely to go in the trash rather than be resold in a secondhand shop. No matter what your background or gender, sewing can be a really rewarding activity, especially the alchemy of mending, taking a once beloved and now broken item and restoring it to favorite garment status with a little care. Today, I want to share with you my process for making clothing last by patching holes in a decorative way. This is called visible mending and is quite easy to do. All you need is the clothing that requires mending, a sturdy needle, thread or embroidery floss, and a piece of fabric to patch with. The fabric for patching should be similar to the garment itself. For example, use jean to patch jeans, or a piece of stretchy material to patch leggings. The color and design of the fabric can be similar or contrasting to the garment. That part is up to you. The most important factor is that the patch should be large enough to cover the hole and then some. Personally, I like to choose a fun pattern and colorful thread. I usually go for quilting fabric, which has a high thread count and an interesting pattern. The first step is to trim away any loose strands and round out the hole with fabric scissors. Then pin the patch in place and tuck in the edges of the fabric of the hole. Pin that in place as well. For the next step, you can use a strong thread or embroidery floss. I am using two strands of embroidery floss in a bright color because I want my stitches to be visible. Not only so that you can see what I'm doing in this tutorial, but also because I like seeing all the patches I've made and thus try my best to sew neatly. Secure with a knot starting at the inside and begin sewing around the edges of the hole. You can also sew across the patch a few times to make it extra secure. This same technique works well with leggings as long as the patch material is stretchy too. Tie off the knot from the inside and it's done. Whether this garment will continue to be used by myself or passed on to someone else, the act of patching takes just a few minutes but can add years of life to this outfit. This may seem extremely simple and it is. You'd be surprised how patching a shirt, dress, or pants can put it back into the rotation of often worn clothing. I hope this video has inspired you to go through your wardrobe and see what clothes could use a mend. Thanks so much for watching and happy crafting! Thank you.